Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a home baker day in the life because I have a good bit to get done for cakes for this weekend. I need to bake them. I need to make buttercream. I need to do some fondant work. So I've written out a to-do list. I've got everything I need and I'm about to jump in and get started on everything. So I wanted to take you guys along. I had a decently busy weekend that I was preparing for, so I had to do a few different flavors of cakes. I did white cake, this is strawberry cake right here, and then I have to do chocolate cake, and I ended up doing red velvet, but that was actually just a last minute addition, and that'll be later in the video. And why can't you just tell me? I just wanna be your bride, wanna be. I wanna give our love away. So you're not letting me, yeah, get through to you. Yeah, if you let it go down, baby. So I like to get as much fondant work done ahead of time as I can. So there's a few different cakes going on here. I've got a unicorn cake that this is the ear. It's just the side profile view of a unicorn. So I just need one ear and the horn, which I'll paint gold. And then I've got a Minnie Mouse cake. These ears are gonna be painted gold. And then I made her bow to go in front of the ears and then little dots to match go around the cake. And then these numbers and stuff are for a retirement cake. It's for like a clock that's all falling apart and broken. It says, who cares? I'm retired, like I don't care what time it is. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. And I think that's all the fondant work I have to do besides some, um, I have to dip some 
balls in chocolate later, but right now I'm gonna work on my chocolate cake. Just wanna get to know you. I've definitely found that the key to keeping my sanity in check is keeping the space as clean as I can. It's, you know, a little difficult working in such a small space, but definitely the key to it is just cleaning up after every single task and trying to keep it as clutter-free and mess-free as possible. After I'm done making my cakes and they cool off, I always wrap and freeze them no matter how far in advance I'm baking the cake, no matter if it's the day before or three days before, I'm always gonna wrap and freeze because I feel like it just holds in the moisture and the texture that you want the cake to have. Sometimes I wonder why Why after all this time you're still on I just do an American buttercream just with vanilla extract. I like to keep it super simple. It's really delicious. I like to get it light and fluffy. It's not overpoweringly sweet, but just enough and it's very stable to decorate with. So I really like using this icing. I don't think I told you guys, but the white mixer that I had, it died. It just basically burned out one day. I tried to do a couple of different DIY fixes on it. I got a new circuit board, thought that might be the problem, but it wasn't. So luckily, my grandmother had this red mixer that I've been using, and she just 
never used it and she told me that I could take it. She said, I don't want it back. I never use it. It takes up cabinet space. So I can do plenty with it just in smaller batches and I'm just saving up to get a commercial mixer, an eight quart mixer, but it is pretty expensive. So it's gonna take me a little while, but hey, gotta work for what you want. I feel like most of my time as a home baker <coughs> rude is spent doing dishes. So I'm about to do dishes for like the third time today. <laughs> two people in this house. I've just been letting it air dry on this rack all day. I want to try to start using our dryer less. So right now I just have this old clothing rack from whenever I used to, I used to live somewhere that didn't have a closet in the room. So I had clothing racks and I brought it with me to this apartment. I'm not really sure why, but it's come in handy as a drying rack. But I found one on Amazon that I want to purchase that that is collapsible. So I can fold it and tuck it away into the laundry room whenever I'm not using it because this thing is bulky and in the way and it just it just sits in our spare bedroom and there's really no need for it other than drying clothes so if i get a proper drying rack that i can store away when i'm not using it that would be a lot more practical about 8 30 at night and I am very tired it has been a long but productive day got a lot done so thank you so much for coming along with me and watching this video I hope you enjoyed this home baker day in life I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more of these in the future but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed and hit the hay so I'll see you guys in the next one bye